Hello there, and welcome to some Crusader Kings 2 with Game of Thrones mod. We're going to be playing as Tywin Lannister during Robert's Rebellion. And we have a goal in mind. The goal is we want to bring democracy to Westeros. We want, well, a more modern day democracy to Westeros. And that is where money wins always. We are the richest man. And we want to use this money to influence the politics. By influence, I mean always have us in charge. We are currently in a rebellion. When we're, we're we personally are not currently in rebellion. The realm is currently in a rebellion. Roberts is rising up against the crown, and lots of people are going to be raising their armies and seeing them destroy each other. We would like to try and save up some money in that time so that we can uh, use this later on. Now, the Iron Bank Brothers would give us 265 We'll keep that in mind for later, but until then, we want to try and raise as much money as possible, and we do raise a fair bit. We have a strong cancer. We do need a Septon Herb. We'll give that to uh, Andro, perhaps. He's the more powerful man here. Uh, I'm not sure if he even gives us levies anyway. We'll have him not perform charity if we don't want money going out of our pockets. We'll have you collect tax down here. That will do us a good job. As for the rest of you, just uh, pacify the promises. Get a little bit more levy if we can. You again, train troops. A little bit more levy if we can. And let's go for some bodyguards. I'm not sure whom here is the best. It's not a way to source it like there is in Crusader Kings 3. We just uh, sort by uh, prowess. We're just going to go with... Get some Lannisters on this bodyguard, of course. Jerion. And Forley Presto, of course. Uh, basically, what we want to do is we want to watch the realm bleed itself dry. We want all of these guys to lose as much forces as they can. Then what we want to do is we want to try and bring democracy. Of course, that's a bit of time away, so I'm not going to worry too much, Cupbearer. Give it to somebody who likes me a bit more already. Kevin! Of course, Kevin is my favourite brother, or at least I'm his favourite person in the world, I'm sure. I'm sure he's uh, a good man to have in charge there. Let's also get Kevin to... Uh... Where is he? Kevin! Okay, let's go with Jerry instead then to be the court educator. As for commanders, let's uh, get Roland on here. Let's see if we can actually invite somebody else to court. To a court, yes, there. No, there, there's no one here. Oh, no, she should sort by all. There's a couple of Umbers, a Mullendor, Man Woody, Wells. Uh, nobody I really like the idea of. Also, we're going to want a uh, ray rally points. We're going to do that around. Drox Castle, probably be a good spot. They can hold a lot of people, or just go straight for Pain Hall. In fact, yeah, let's uh, let's move everyone straight to Pain Hall. Rally the troops there. Excellent. But uh, main concern at the moment is money. We would like to have ourselves uh, on the Iron Throne, of course, and we would like to have the focus of business. Let's just go with uh, rule of that ship and hope that it goes up well. We have a daughter unmarried, we have a son in the King's Guard, we have another son unmarried. Let's go and give him a focus in money, thrift or no duty. You had yours and a bit of intrigue. You have got the greatest of stats there, so I say. Could betroth her off somewhere. Oh, the free cities are actually interested in her. You could ship her off to the free cities and uh, <laughs> see how she gets on over that way. But I think we'd rather keep her for now. There are some strong people. The, the slavers. Send her over to the slavers. Uh, they're not actually that strong, are they? A harlaw. Oh, interesting. Now we'll be keeping her available just in case she does become the heir. As for Tyrion, he is nine. We could perhaps find him somewhere. But again, it's. Uh, I must have had the religion open. But anyway, let's uh, get uh, straight to the allowing the game to roll here. We're going to put on a bit of higher speed. And keep an eye on exactly what's going on here. Hopefully they do get themselves destroyed. Now if you've got a spy network over here so we can see the surrounding area as well. Let's go ahead and uh, mark some people of special interest. Do not you, sir. You, my rival. There is uh, you there with your king tier. There's uh, you. You, good sir. I will not be deciding on civil war sides. This is right at the end and I can definitely see somebody getting destroyed if I were to put my stack of men on them. I don't know, I, I don't want to be raising my army, I want them uh, exactly where they are. Well, so is your gang of friends, we could perhaps mark all of them as special interest. Um, no, let's go to the King's Guard instead. Also, Jamie, I will mark you there. The Bull, let's uh, mark you, let's mark Oswell, and let's mark Arthur Dane, the main man there himself. Also, Barristan, let's mark him as well, because King's Guard is King's Guard. 
My Lordship Crackle, good for you. My Lordship Faith, everyone's go ahead and creating all their titles now because, well, I have that. Enabled. Yep, everyone done yet? No, no, still going. They're still uh, raking in that prestige. Yes, they are. Oh, let's actually get a uh, few educators here as well. So you have Stafford Lannister's daughter. We'll get her educated in uh, duty. Um, Serena, same person. No, this is crown focus, actually. Get yeah, Casty Rock. We'll go for Lionel Frey. We'll teach him about heritage. No, faith. Sure, he can be a monk in the future. And we have Dave and Lannister. We'll have him educated in pride. Good man. Hopefully they all come out relatively well in the future. Oh, more High Lordships. Or John this time. And Mace once again with the Amanda Vale. And even you. These guys, they will never stop. They will never stop. Uh, have they stopped? They might have stopped. Anyway, let's... Uh, let's increase this a bit. Actually, I'm no longer widowed either. I could go ahead and get a wife. I uh, don't think there's going to be too many decent options. So nobody's going to give us a real good alliance. So we might just play as though we were not... Uh, yeah, let's just play as if we weren't. Although we could go with uh, a bit of genetics here, try and get some white hair into the dynasty. That could be interesting. She is selfish, honourable and paranoid. Uh, huh. Tywin isn't... I mean, she's not a whore. If she was a whore, we wouldn't be for this, because uh, Tywin didn't like how his father had her had his whore wearing all of his mother's clothes and such, but this would be a wife, and I have been uh, single for quite some time. Maybe we could go through with you here, arrange marriage to myself, perhaps. I would lose some prestige for it. Tywin's quite a pro-prestige sort of man, but uh, there's ooh, blue hair genetics, perhaps. Uh, not with that chin, definitely not. With the Lannisters, they do like their uh, blonde hair, don't they? That's what they're all about. So maybe going after creating a white hair dynasty isn't the thing to do here. Let's just uh, let's just leave it. Although, do, would you gain me prestige if I were to do it? You would actually gain prestige. Okay, well, we're going to go with a blue-haired wife then. She is Norvosi. They will give us a bit of alliance with this house here, but it's, it's not the strongest. Oh, they won't even give us alliance. Oh, well, we have our lovely Taina Delios, a blue-haired wife here. I was concerned. Yeah, I would like the money, actually. 50 gold. We are after money. You'll find out soon enough why we have this uh, need for money. But anyway, being such an industrious ruler, you have not gone unnoticed by the population of Castamere by paying the country county elders a personal visit. They would surely be inspired, but and the peasants would feel particularly appreciated. A small donation would also go a long way, of course. We're not going to be uh, paying donations. We need all of our money here, personally. Eddard Stark is now known as the Imperius. Why is Eddard Stark known as the Imperius? He's, uh, he's keeping himself there quite a bit. Viserys, let's also mark Viserys there as a special interest character. And uh, do you still have Uncle Aemon? Aemon, I want you as interest as well. Looks like the rebellion here is going incredibly well. Let's actually have a look at the war score there if we can. No, it's only 7%. I did see a lot of their troops there. So Daven, uh, Damon has had another child. 18 year age gap. Jenna is now born. We'll go ahead and just let her be named Jenna. Let's give her an early education into uh, choosing. Oh, looks like there might be... No, the uh, Baratheons are going to kick their asses, unfortunately. But there's nothing we can do about it. Special holding actions available. We can upgrade cast. I won't be doing that. Could also imprison Garth Greenfield. Is Preston here? Yeah, Preston is here. We're going to mark you for potential uh, Kingsguard later. Let's actually go through our personal realm here. Uh, sort by Great Houses and Unmarried. And let's see if we can find any. Let's also uh, sort by Adults and Men. See if we can find any uh, potential decent future Kingsguard here. There is Lark, uh, of course. He is a man who would be good. Gregor, he's a good match there. Alistair Sarwick, of course. Well, on uh, Craig Hall as well. Let's hope that these guys don't all just end up getting married. Jerry, we call also uh, later on to search for people of our culture, but it's still good to have a little bit of a look there and get some people as interest, because, uh, well, why not? You 
revoked the lordship of Moat Kaelin from a lord here. Why, why would he do that? And somebody's died. Barristan Selmy was executed by King Ares II. What a mistake. That is one of the greatest knights you will ever see. And you, In fact, he saved you. He saved you from Duskendale. Yet you do this to him. Madness. Absolute madness. Looks like the Stark army, though, is getting their asses kicked. Lord Dane has been killed in personal combat by Beleno. Not sure who Beleno works for, probably in this stack. No, because uh, you're working with the Dornish. Anyway, this is um, Arthur Dane's father. He is now dead. Beleno, you killed a Dane. <laughs> that is something to uh, to get framed right there. Vassal Lunnersport, seat on council. Most of all, good for him. He's not very good at his job, but uh, good for him anyway. Legion Lawlists are going well, of course. Wow, well, we would expect nothing less. One child lacks a education focus. Marielle Alanis will give her duty. Always with the duty. Brioni, she's a lowborn. She uh, doesn't have any uh, educator anything. We're just going to go with nothing there. Um, she can have an education in, in finance, though. She might come useful later on for barring to some random lord knight who does a good job and deserves a bit of an award. Uh, what is this? Good news? Ah, Lionel Frey is learning. Good for him. Cleos Frey, he's the dumbass. Cleos Frey is the guy who was on the boat with Jamie and Brienne. Getting shot at like a fool. Also looks like uh, the Tyrell army is getting a bit destroyed there. And the Starks are besieging the capital where the Mad King is. The Mad King is in the capital. I was hoping that more people would die here. Also, can we form an alliance here? Yes, we could. Excellent. You might come in handy later on, Walder Frey. He accepts our alliance. Of course he does. Uh, it gives me trouble, however, I can assure it. Nothing to do with the pirates, uh, pirates that plague your coast. Of course he doesn't. Yeah, let's just put our mind at rest. Looks like they were kicked back, but then the king has gone into hiding anyway. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a rebellion uh, victory here. 72% in favour. So let's have a look and see who has the strongest armies. 23,000, not bad. 16, not bad. Tully's... Oh, uh, you actually died there. Personal combat by Olimar Norwich, a Reachman. Yeah, it looks like uh, the Northerners and the Veilmen do still have very, very strong armies here. It is a shame, but... Oh, well. I find proposed, you see. My lord, it's come to my attention. Nobody has been designated regent of the realm. Jerion? Sure. Sure, why not? Until you get stuck in the King's Guard, Jerion. Because Jerion always, he always goes and becomes an adventurer and invades. He has to be stuck somewhere. I think the King's Guard is the place to be. Yeah, we'll smooth that over. Sure. Uh, Balon has now died. Suspicious circumstances, meaning that uh, Roderick is the Lord Paramount over there. Interesting for him. We're going to have a lot of money and a free position here, the High Admiral. That should really go to the uh, Farman. We'll give it to him. If you don't give the High Admiral ship to a Farman, why, uh, who else would you give it to? The uh, the lands actually found by the Farman Explorer are actually going to be in the Crusader King's free map. They were down in this direction, both uh, west and south, quite far away from everything. The, uh, the free islands named after the Targaryen... Ladies, was it? I can't remember exactly. Crusading's free. The uh, mod is coming along. If you're not aware, there is a Discord server. It is uh, linked down in my description because I'm partnered with their Discord server. And it, uh, the devs there post all the updates. Uh, last I checked, they don't think they're going to have the mod ready until around December 2020. So if you are waiting impatiently, uh, try and relax a bit. It's, it's going to be quite a while away. But it looks good. I've seen the map. The map's very, very fun. The Iron Isles look beautiful. So, uh, yeah, just let's just hope that it all comes as good as it can. We don't want to rush it through. But no, the uh, war here has now ended. Ares the Mad has been imprisoned. The War of the Usurper has ended. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise up our forces. Every single one of them. Hopefully they'll all amass at Pain Hall. We want to act fast before people are able to uh, get their armies back together. A lot of pop-ups here, it's going to take us a bit of time to get through. Probably about an hour, uh, I think, so come back in an hour, I suppose. 
No, uh, maybe not that long. Okay, great. We're going to start raising up our troops. Hopefully he will start some more rebellions to... Uh... Oh, Renly has usurped Stormlands. And uh, standard strength stone. Good for him. I see exactly what's going on here. You are fighting against the Conningtons. You do have a lot of forces here due to these two realms uh, kind of being stuck. Now, why are you in charge of Mason? I did have your special interest, but I didn't see you die there. You were actually killed in personal combat by John. Very uh, interesting there. Looks like the realm is uh, going for a bit of peace here. It won't be worth doing anything because he currently will have all of these forces risen up. We're going to have to wait until he's done with his wars. The realms will surely bleed. Oh, yes, yes they will. Uh, why? You're fighting against them. So yes, we want uh, your civil war to be over as well. Because otherwise your troops are directly uh, raised by the king here. Excellent. Tyrion the Imp would like an education. We're going to spend highly, despite me, of course, trying to save up money. We are still going to spend highly on the boy here. We could uh, give him a focus in finance. I think we will. And anything else we want to do? No, I don't believe there is. Vassal levies have already been raised too long. They're not happy about that at all. I could release my troops. It might be a bit of time. Oh, Longbore. Uh, Strongbore is actually in the King's Guard now. Good. Well, I wanted him there myself. Okay, I'm going to release the army because this is going to take a bit of time. Also, my levies have actually gone up there. Very, very good. We'll just uh, leave things where they are for now. Let's keep gaining some more money. What's this? After Shira told me... No, told me not everybody lies. I almost started laughing. I told her that if she could prove that, I would start believing in mankind again. I will perhaps become cynical. I did not believe it. Um, Hi, Admiral. Sure, I think I get paid for that position, don't I? Pretty sure I get paid for being a Admiral. What's what would he like? He would like Tyrion to be educated by Richard, the fist of Long Wild Horde. No. Richard Horp will not tutor my son, who will, however. He does need an educator. Currently, Jerion. I will educate him myself. Or I could just send him off to the wall. So they don't know. We'll, uh, we'll assign him a guardian, and it will be me. Oh, Rob is here. Looks like Oswell went killed Eddard Stark and is alive. Uh, okay, what about the other King's Guard members I went for? Yes, you're alive. What about the bull? The bull looks like he has died. Interesting. Would you like to join my court, perhaps? He says no. What if we were to bribe you? Arthur Dane. Arthur Dane would then join my court. Excellent. Well, we can't turn that down. This man is great. We could also, uh, instead of having him join a king's guard, we could marry him to Cersei. He has some great genes that would trap him into my court, which would be a way to do it. Let's do it. Arthur Dane to Cersei. He might turn down the marriage matrilineal, but we will try it for now at least. He also does have uh, Kingsguard armor and the sword there. Ah, and again, we won't be going through with this uh, pop of Hicks. It will cost us some shekels. Ah, yes, he's going to go with divorce. We can just let him keep his name. We're going to agree to the divorce there. We will, however, go through and make sure that he is um, a commander. We'll replace either Tethering. We'll replace you with Arthur, and we'll make Arthur a bodyguard instead of... Instead of Kevin. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that's, uh, that's all going well. We just want these wars to both be over. One, so Roberts puts his uh, army down. Oh, he actually wants to get married now. Well, let's... Um, I'll find you something nice. See if there's anybody in the courts here. Besides, uh, say, there is uh, older women. What about a betrothal, perhaps? There is Serena Lander, so we'll do a betrayal. Tell me that goes through uh, later on. Special minor titles, there is a bodyguard slot. We'll give that to Stafford. I'm sure he can fight relatively not terribly well. Alright, how long is your war going to take here, good sir? Because I want it done. I'll not be paying for anyone to join my course. That would be a uh, terrible, terrible decision. What we want is both of these wars over, and then we'll start to spring into action. We want democracy in Westeros, and we are the man with the money. 
Just going to have to try and uh, bribe some people into joining us here. Looks like these two boys will not be options. Neither of you will. We might have to just team up with Doran, who is quite strong. Renny as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's only two adult lords here, and John might not be a bribable man. You are eight. Edmure's twelve. Uh, Benedict Broom would like to marry. We'll allow him to marry as he pleases. I'm sure that's a, a good match there. Have you guys won? Yes. Ah, Prince Stannis has created his uh, title there. I see fit to name him the Prince of Dragonstone. He and his sons and grandsons will hold and enjoy this honour until the end of time. And all Lords of Dragonstone shall pay him homage as their rightful liege. Good, good for them. Um, it's good to see that that's at least going through. Your army's becoming very strong, but you're still in this war. Hopefully this does not take too long. Anyway, that'll do for the first episode. We have saved up a lot of money, but it might be worth it might be worth waiting a bit longer before we start to try and do anything. Because they're they're just all so young lords. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.